Yo, yo, Andrew Gilchrist, and if you watch this channel a lot, you'll know that one of the types of strains that I really, really hate is haze. I, I haven't really tried haze in many, many years, but I kind of figured, how can I really say that I don't like haze and that I hate smoking haze if I haven't smoked any for years? So I'm in Amsterdam right now, and my goal for today is to buy haze until I find one that I like. I'm gonna cap it at about 10, because if it gets over that, then that's gonna get a bit ridiculous. I don't even really know if I can do 10 in one day, but we're gonna try. And I think the first shop we're gonna go to is the Cheech and Chong shop, because I didn't even know that place was a thing. All right, Cheech and Chong's. Never seen this place before, but uh, I'm interested. Apparently it only sells haze, so that's what we want today, weirdly enough. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm not a big haze smoker, but I really want to try the best haze in Amsterdam. Okay, so that was an interesting experience. I will say, so I smell all the hazes that man showed me, right? No cap, they all just smell the same. They all smell exactly the same to me. And I, I'm assuming that's just because I don't smoke haze, right? In the same way that a lot of people smell an OG and be like, oh, they all just smell the same, which I totally understand if that wasn't like your flavor. But uh, I've got one rolled up, so I'm gonna give it a try and I will let you guys know if maybe this is just a, a one try video. Maybe we don't have to go to 10 places. Maybe we actually just find one straight away, but it's, it seemed pretty nice. The nugs were pretty nice. And um, yeah, all around, it, it seemed all right for 11 euros a gram of some lemon haze. I mean, it's a bit expensive, but um, I guess I guess we just have to see. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering about seeing the flower in this video, you won't see the flower in this video, but there's gonna be a YouTube short uploaded at the same time as this, which is gonna have the flower in it. Uh, so if you wanna check that after the video's up or check it and then come back, feel free, but it'll show all the flower that I showed in this video here. All right, so I'm jogging on it now, yeah? And it's actually, it's all right. It's not the best. I would never get this myself, uh, but it's actually white ash. The flavor, it's like, maybe 30% of the flavor of what I would have expected from a lemon haze, if that makes sense. But it's just not, not the greatest. It's all right, I mean, at least it's clean. That's probably a good, a good thing. First thing of the video is clean, it's all right. If I had to rate it out of 10, I'd give the lemon haze from Cheech and Chong like a 4.5. I think that's a pretty reasonable, uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. Okay, so it's actually a different day and it's finally not raining and it's not as windy. I mean, well, it's still windy, it's Amsterdam. But we're still gonna make our way to a couple more shops and see if I can finally find a haze that I actually like, which not sure if that's gonna happen. I've kind of said to myself now that I might not be able to find one that I actually like, but if I can get something over an eight, like something over an eight out of 10 would be great. Like that would just be an eye opener, but it also might end up me just being like, oh, I do really just hate haze. But in saying that, I'm gonna go to a couple random shops first and then hopefully come across maybe some of the shops that people say actually have good haze, like Born Jorgens and shit. But for now, we have this coffee shop, which I always see in Amsterdam. It just, it's literally just looks like it's called Coffee Shop. It has no name anywhere, but on the door, it has like a tiny little sign that says Flower Power. So I guess let's have a little look in here. Um, out of the hazes, which is the best? The amnesia? Okay, I'll just get a gram of the amnesia. Going for the amnesia haze. All right, so we've just been into Flower Power, and I must say, that's probably one of the stores that I would usually never ever walk into, because it just kind of seems like, you know, a random little place that probably isn't gonna have anything I'm interested in. But going in there as someone trying to buy like some haze, the person behind the counter was really, really nice, really friendly, was even asking me about the YouTube videos and stuff. So um, yeah, I ended up getting some amnesia. It was like 0 0.9 for 10, so, Let's see what it's smoking like, I guess. So weirdly enough, it's actually pure white ash and it has a somewhat decent flavor. I wouldn't say it's quite that amnesia that I know from like back in the day, like that crazy, crazy flavor that I know it can be, but it's pretty good. I can't lie, like it's not the worst. The effects, I don't know if I'm feeling the effects too much. Like I, <laughs> I haven't really smoked anything else today and I smoke to get rid of anxiety, not to cause it. And um, I definitely feel a bit anxious even though I'm only halfway through the doobie. But yeah, flavor wise, not crazy bad. I wouldn't say it's hitting an eight yet. I would say maybe I would give it like, uh, I'd say I'd give it like a six. Especially if you look at the nugs, the nugs didn't really look very amnesia-y if that makes sense. Uh, like I said, you can see the nugs in the YouTube short that's uploaded at the same time as this, but the, uh, the nugs really weren't looking amnesia-y and the flavor is like 
60-70% there. So yeah, 6 out of 10 for this one. Alright, this next one, yeah, is a place that I haven't been into for like maybe 6-7 years. And the last time I did go in, it was like the dive bar equivalent of a coffee shop out here in Amsterdam. And it's the Black Star. Uh, yeah, I make YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly who you hey, are. Sing. You played the Jolly Joker. Yeah, I do, yes! Oh, okay, nice. You want to take one gram? Yeah, I'll get a gram of that one. My friend's gonna laugh so much. <laughs> 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 Alright, so Black Star. That was a really strange experience. They have completely revamped the place. And like I said before, it was kind of like, the way I see it, it was kind of like a dive bar, you know, like where locals would just go in there. And if you weren't a local and you walked in, like everyone suddenly turns to you and looks at you and goes like, but no, nah, it was such a good vibe this time. I had like a lovely chat with them. They seem to have a really good menu. I'm kind of a bit sad that I went in there for this video and not for something else. So I couldn't have tried something else. But it's mad to see that all these shops are having the same thing happen at the same time with generations moving on. Because I asked them like, hey, why the revamp? Is there new owners? Like, what's going on? And they're like, no, 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 no new owners. It's just new generation. So it was like the dad who owned it before and now the, uh, the son has taken it over. And that seems to be how most of these shops are suddenly revamping this year. Like this year seems to be the year where the generations are moving on and those younger generations know what people want these days and they're actually getting it in like bro i went into a black star black star and they only had one type of haze and it was an amnesia which in talking about the haze it's actually not too bad i would still probably give it like a 6.5 it's definitely the best one so far but i still wouldn't really say that i like it like it's all right the effects are actually slightly better than the one that I had before. Uh, a lot less anxiety inducing, a bit more euphoric, which is kind of nice. Um, smoking super white ash still, but still not like something I would want to buy for myself. So that's what we're going to still uh, try and find. I actually don't know where I am right now, so um, I'm like never on this street. But we're going to... Uh, find another place all right before we get into the sponsor today yeah just know don't skip this because it's about to be wild just get ready get ready all right we in the back rooms are you seeing what's here brav all the pink sushi merchandise even a pillow trilogy 710 stuff so many bits of merch and i'm sure you guys want to cop one of these so if that's something you've been trying to find don't miss out on the family first concept store here in amsterdam they'll be linked in the pinned comment down Below. All right, I don't actually remember ever going in here. It's called Sativa. And I mean, it's called Sativa, so should have a good A's, right? Can I just get a gram of the tangerine mango haze? Is it right if I get a little picture of the menu? See. Sweet, so I've just been into Coffee Shop Sativa, and you know what? That was actually such a nice experience. That was wild. I'm so mind blown every time I come to Amsterdam these days, because everything just keeps getting better. And I went in there thinking it was just going to be some random shop that's just going to have like a dead menu just like everywhere else. I mean, I swear I've been in there years ago, and it's called Coffee Shop Sativa, and it was just dead. And bro, look at this menu. It was wild. They had so many good Dutch things. Probably one of the best Dutch menus that I've actually seen out here on this trip. And I felt really bad because obviously I fucking had to buy some haze for this video. Um, but I got the tangerine mango haze. So at least it made it a bit different. And they also told me that I need to try the amazing haze. And I was like, everyone's been telling me I need to try that for this video, but I don't know where to get it from. And they said I need to go to Voyagers, which is kind of odd because if you guys don't know the drama about Voyagers, they used to get stocked by somebody else and they had like a thing with Fino Finders and they're not there anymore. They're at Bagheera. So everyone's kind of written off Voyagers. So, um, but I guess if you're into haze, I guess now it's probably the place, <laughs> which is a bit of a change. Um, but I guess we're gonna head there, but before we do I need to try this one and see if it's any good and uh, we might go somewhere else on the way because uh, that's quite far away. I'm impressed. This is actually really nice. It's pure white ash and again I think this is the best one so far. It's definitely interesting because uh, like I said I haven't smoked hazes for like six seven years probably even longer actually since I've like chosen to buy haze and to taste something unique like this where it's still hazy but it's that tangerine mango haze it's actually quite refreshing. I think I'm probably gonna give this like a seven. We're getting closer. I think I would give this like a seven out of 10, no cap. If you look at the YouTube short afterwards and you see how the joint's actually smoking, you'll probably understand why as well. Cause I'm really getting fucking mind blown being out here. All right, next up, Barney's coffee shop. I mean, if anyone was gonna have some good hay, surely it'd be Barney's, right? Yo. 
Okay, so we've just been in Barney's and obviously a lot of people told me you have to try the Liberty Haze. You have to get the Liberty Haze. And they had it in there for 16 a gram. Oh, and then the guy shows me the screen. He goes, is this all right? And it was like a 1.1 with like a nice nug. And it was like 18. And I was like, I guess. And I was like, wait, just round it up to 20. Fuck it. And he gets me a really nice nug, like a full nug, which is like a 1.3, I think, or something. Whatever it worked out to, so a 1.25 or whatever. Uh, but paying 20 euros for basically a gram of haze is not something I was expecting to do. And actually, I need to find somewhere to roll this because there was no space inside. So let me roll this up and see what it's saying. So I'm trying that Liberty Haze now, yeah? And it is fucking dead. Definitely the worst one out of all of them. There's like no flavor. It's burning clean, but not the cleanest. Like it's all right, passable, but it's dead. Like dead, dead. And it was so expensive. This one, I just want to throw away right now. <laughs> so I completely gave up on the last one. It was like a two out of 10, if that, probably like a one out of 10, it was just dead. I guess maybe a two out of 10, because at least it was burning clean, but look at where we are now. Yo, uh, can I just get a gram of the amazing mix? Well, here we go, we're selling. So this one from Voyagers is 100% the best one so far. Um, well, at least in the smell and in the dry tote, because it smells crazy, proper hazy. If anything, it like kind of reminds me of what I think of Amnesia as, even though I've tried a few Amnesias today and none of them have reminded me of that. So very interested to see uh, what this one's going to be like. So I'm smoking it now, and I smoke a bit too soon. Like the smell was crazy. The dry tote was crazy. But the flavor isn't really the one. It's burning pretty clean. It's not very nice. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like not, not really what I was expecting it to be from the flavor. I feel like I've forgotten to give some of the other ones ratings. I, I think I definitely forgot to give one of them a rating. It gets like a 5.5, .5, I think. Look, it's all right. It's not bad, but it's not very good. Not very amazing. This is where we're at next. Coffee shop bag era. Well, I'm doing the specific video today trying to find any haze that I like. I'm literally um, buying haze until I find one that I like. Yes, yes. I'm going for the iconic lemon bubble. So this one is definitely unique tasting. For sure reminds me a bit more of haze like from back in the day, for sure. But I still don't really like it. There was one that I've had today that made me feel really good. I'll have to look back on it in the edit to find out which one that was because there was one that gave me some really, really nice effects. The rest of them have just kind of been getting me a bit high. Luckily, luckily I haven't really felt any anxiety all day from any of these. Um, not that I can think of. Like some got me a tiny bit, tiny bit almost there, but not really. But the lemon bubble from Bagheera, again, I'll probably give it like a 6.5. Like it's decent. If you liked haze, you'd probably like it. But it's not, for someone who doesn't like haze, it's still not the one. So the sun is setting and I think I'm going to go to one last place because bro, I've been walking around all day just smoking fucking haze. <laughs> um, so look, we can't really do a video like this without going to Bourne Jorgens because everyone always rates them so much and I do not rate them at all. But then again, people always say, now nah, the only reason you don't like them is because you don't like haze, right? So. Hopefully they're going to have some good haze. And you know what, in saying that, there is a massive queue out the door and I just can't be bothered. In my opinion, the only reason why they have any hype is just because they serve you in suits. I've never had any good bud there and I really don't feel like waiting like half an hour, 40 minutes to get some haze that I'm probably not going to like. So I guess maybe consider this as a part one because Bagheera did say to me like, hey, you have come here on like the most touristy time you ever could besides 420. And obviously none of the tourists who come here want to smoke that. So none of the good haze is really out, which I guess makes sense. I still don't really have faith that it's really going to change much more. But if you guys want a part two, let me know in the comments down below. And maybe next time I come out here, I'll make a part two. Uh, maybe we're actually going born Jorgens next time because yeah I just cannot be bothered with waiting in some mad queue to get something that I know I'm not gonna like so um yeah that was me buying haze until I uh would find one that I like which I didn't we had some all right ones though so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of all the bits that I had in this video like I said as well there's gonna be a YouTube short uploaded at the exact same time as this which has all the bud all the joints so if you want to see them there check out the YouTube short and um people I will see you very soon make sure to hit that like button hit the subscribe button and uh i'll probably be live streaming later on today or whenever i upload it see you then peace